So what we're going to do is um, take the limit as x approaches 1 of this function, x to the 4th minus 1 over x squared plus x minus 2 times x squared plus 3x minus 4. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to expand everything in order to see if we can cancel things. So when you expand the top, you get x squared plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. Oh, and then when you expand the bottom, you get x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 4 times x minus 1. And you can cancel both the x minus, both the x minus 1s up top. So then when you plug in 0, I mean, when you plug in 1, 1 minus 1 still equals 0, so the bottom is 0 still. So you need to look when the function approaches 1 from both sides. So if you think of a number just a little bit larger than 1, and you plug it in, when the limit approaches 1 from the right, you get positive times positive over positive times positive times positive, which gives you positive infinity. And then when the limit approaches from the left, when you plug in numbers that are just a little smaller than 1, negative 1, um, you get positive times positive over positive times negative times positive, which gives you negative infinity. So since these are not equal, you have to, you realize that the limit of this function doesn't exist.